Hello and welcome to the Top Geek Toronto Special. My name is Sean Reimer, I don't rhyme, and the question today is simple. Is My Chemical Romance the greatest band of geeks of our generation? To answer this question, we fly to Toronto to see them live. This means waking up at 5 a.m., which means any minute now, we will cut to a very grumpy Lexa Cutler. I think it looks great. Why is it doing that? Why is it so fucking dry and look burnt? <gasps> Told you guys she was grumpy. All right, at the airport now. Uh, we were already checked in, so it's really just a matter of going through security. I'll see you guys on the other side while they check our toothpaste. Well, I gotta say, if I wanted someone to grope my ass, I would've gotten you two last night. She's still dead, okay. Um, making our way to the game. So, note to self, for future reference, when I travel, do not wear the fancy pants because the zippers set off every metal detector in the book. But hey, it's, it's my chemical romance. I have to make an exception for this, so totally worth it. New mission, time to find breakfast. See what you're doing. I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm trying to edit the vlog and she's... Come off. Wait, wait, wait. Blanky, sleepy by now. Go, go sleep. There's a little pillow. It's a little bed. No, look at the little bed. Pillow? Blanket. It's like a homeless person's Mac. You excited? I'm awake now. Well, that's an improvement. Yeah. gotta say WestJet's in-flight entertainment system is absolutely incredible on the 787. You have a touchscreen interactive flight map. Look! That is so cool. Yeah. It's like a Google Earth thing. I love it. Like this, I'm glad they brought this back because yeah they got rid of the screens on the 737s and I was kind of disappointed by that but this is great and then you've got uh, all the Toronto att attractions of where we're going and where to shop, where to eat. And you got your entertainment, food and beverages. You got a bunch of stuff on here, so. Even call crew member, weather. Yeah, that's so cool. Good job, WestJet. Welcome on board, WestJet. Bienvenue à bord de WestJet. We would appreciate your attention during this safety video as it outlines the safety features for this aircraft. For everyone's safety, all carry-on baggage, including laptops, should now be stowed in an overhead bin or under the seat in front of you. We landed. Um, how are you doing? Good. Good. Oh, we had to trade masks because the fuzzies were bothering me in the mask. She has major OCD. She's like Larry David. <laughs> Larry David in a wheelchair. So I guess just Larry David. <laughs> Entire kitchen for you to clean. <gasps> a dishwasher. <laughs> hey, what expecting. happened there? Um, all the, the utensils went. <laughs> so 
So now that we've checked in, we are taking a gander down uh, the underground, uh, what is this, shopping district? Yeah. It, yeah, it's like an underground sort of district thing. Um, it's called The Path, so. Things are free. Yeah, so it's just like New Horizons back home. <laughs> Okay, so we gave up on that real quick. There's the walrus right here. Oh, perfect. We're going to a place called the Walrus. Yeah, Path was abandoned. It looked like it was, it was everything was closed. It's kind of creepy, actually. Yeah, so we're back on the outside with the living creatures. Yes, not ghost town, underground. Exactly. Okay, never mind. The Walrus was closed too. So everything. Apparently all of Toronto is just a ghost town. All of Toronto is just completely closed. I don't know, on, on a Labor Day long weekend where My Chemical Romance is in town and there's gonna be, you know, a bunch of tourists. I don't, I don't understand why everything's I don't get it. Calgary had more places open, so. Oh, look at that building. Ooh, that's cool up there. Hold on, let me see if I can, that building right there. That's pretty cool. We see a sign that says Guinness, so I hope that is leading other, us to the promised land. The other place was close to. So this mm -hmm. is our, what is this, third try? Third try. Fourth try if you include down underground. Oh. Nice. How is it? Not bad. Looking forward to trying this. <laughs> so we got some much needed food in our system. Much needed ginai in our system. <laughs> uh, we're gonna make a try for the CN Tower today. It's, it's raining. raining a, it's raining a little bit, so we're gonna we're gonna see. Um, just to try and alleviate some of the things we need to do tomorrow before the concert. So, but you look at that. Those leaves are weird. Look, this one. They're different. Do they look weird to you guys? No, these ones. Like they were like. Oh, so those ones. Broken. So immediate complaint about the CN Tower, not enough signage. No signage anywhere. No signage Wayfinding anywhere. techniques are important to whoever's yes. doing the graphic design here. It's you need to have a sense of direction and yeah, agreed. But we're, we're on our way up to the top now, so. Yeah. So, review of uh, that thing. I've ripped up the tickets, so. Uh, here, let me start from the beginning. So we had to get priority tickets because they had time slots, which is fine considering the pandemic, but the amount of things that they add on to it. First off, the priority tickets do not get you access to the, the very top observation thing. They get you access to just the lower one. To get to the very top, you gotta pay an extra $20. Um, the priority tickets costed like $140 for two. Absolutely ridiculous. And then they get you like a 10% off thing for the- A trinket in the, dis in the gift shop. Yeah, a trinket. Oh, this is how I ended up after. <laughs> yeah, it's very humid here. Um, and then the lines are incredibly complex. There's no signage anywhere. And there's brat children that aren't being watched and they're running everywhere and tripping people and oh, it's screaming. Hockey Hall of Fame will be, will be hopefully uh, better tomorrow, but um, yeah, we're, we're just looking forward to get, getting back to the hotel and- Hot tub. Hot tub, relaxing a little bit. Good golly. Back at the hotel now. Uh, we're looking for the hot tub. I think we're just gonna relax the rest of the night, recharge. That way we'll be ready for the amazing day that will be tomorrow. So catch you guys at on whatever day number two. Day number two, folks. I've got the appropriate shirt on and we're, we're all set. We're gonna get a, uh, a good start to the day. First off, the Hall of Fame, the hockey. Okay. Oh, I lost my brain thing here, and you're not gonna forgive. No, I'll, I'll forgive, forgive, but you're, you're losing everything. Well, that's you're losing fault. your literal brain thing. <laughs> my brain thing. 
She she keeps all of her toiletries in there, and she she lost it. I didn't know where my toothbrush was. And I didn't know where my deodorant was, and I was freaking out. I couldn't brush my teeth. See what I have to put up. With. Hey, listen. That's me threatening you. Nice. Yeah. Hockey Hall of Fame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. How'd they do that? I don't know. They got an exclusive Hockey Hall of Fame donut at the Tim Hortons across from the Hockey Hall of Fame. So that's really cool. We're gonna eat this and uh, yeah, check out the Hall of Fame. You can even get a little appetizer for everything in the square here. So this is how to get to the Hall of Fame and the escalator's not working. So yeah. here, I'm, I'm gonna go help her <laughs> down this death trap here. This is Sports Center. Hello there, and welcome back to Sports Center. I'm Sean Reimer. I don't rhyme, and with me is Lester <laughs> Cutler on the floor. And tonight we're bringing you the Stanley Cup final action: Lightning Stars Game Six. Picking this game up midway through the first, Lightning on the power play. Nikita Kucherov slams on the brakes, dishes off to Brandon Point. He takes the shot and collects his own rebound. It's one nothing Tampa Bay. Who would have thought? Point has been on fire all playoffs long. That's his 14th goal and 33rd point of the postseason. Now, on to the second period. With a botched Tampa dump and change, Alexander, by some Russian name, stretches the pass, picked up out of the air by Big Rig Pat Maroon. Tampa going on the other way. Maroon to Paquette, to, Col to Coleman. He's on the flames now, that's pretty cool. And Lightning is up in this game 2 to nothing. Late in the third now, Dallas thinks to get something going. They cut in with a shot, rebound, pops to Tyler Sagan, but Andre Vasilevsky shuts him down. Vesna award winner right there. Absolute spider in the net. And back-to-back -back Stanley Cups for Tampa Bay, of course. Now, let, let it be known that Tampa Bay is technically only won two Stanley Cups because the Flames won it in 2004. Everybody knows that. They're all celebrating. Yeah, big whoop. Uh... Another very uneventful Stanley Cup, Conn Spice winner, yada yada yada. <laughs> Tampa's done it again, folks. Uh, but Colorado will do it next year for a much more exciting Stanley Cup final. We got some fireworks going. Uh, Stamkos is, you know, he's not injured for once, which is startling. Uh, and yeah, another uh, very boring Stanley Cup final in the bubble with uh, Tampa winning it. So that's all we have tonight for Sports Center. I'm Sean Reimer. I don't rhyme and. Any final words, Lexa? No. There we go. Good night. <laughs>
taking forever. I'm yeah. summoning it. We've been waiting for this elevator for a while now. Main complaint about the Hockey Hall of Fame, it's, it's fantastic in here. We love it here. The elevators, they smell. Ugh. <coughs> Where's the clothes? There's no clothes. Where's the clothes button? There's an open button. <laughs> There's a ring for help button, which we might need. <laughs> Why is it closed so slowly? Oh my God. So, all in all, impressions of the Hockey Hall of Fame. I love that place. It's an amazing place so in cool. Toronto. This is, without a doubt, my favorite place in this city. It's, it's interactive. It's it's just so cool. Yeah. I, I like it a lot. And then seeing, uh, like, Jerome McGinley's part of it, and then uh, seeing uh, the Sports Center booth. I absolutely love that, was that part. That and was really fun. it's not a major rip-off either. Exactly. It's completely free, and you get to save the video, yeah, and I think the broadcasting yeah. element is... Uh, without doubt, one of my favorite parts of hockey. So everywhere else, we charge up the ass for being able to record something. Like that. Especially in in Calgary, and <laughs> well, see, Toronto does it too with the CN Tower. So I'm glad this was a much more pleasant experience than the CN Tower. So much. we're gonna go charge my phone. I'm gonna edit some stuff, grab some to eat, and then MCR time. Someone is in olive heaven. Mm. All these different sorts of olives. Oh, it's so good. And the bread. Just need some feta. If you guys didn't know already, she's green, <laughs> so. Okay, situation report. Lex is at the bar back there. I'm heading to Scotiabank Arena right now. I'm gonna see if there's any merch. Fingers crossed. Okay, sit rep. Uh, that's Scotiabank Arena. A line is already forming. I'm pretty sure the merch is inside, so. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna hightail it back here, save a place in line for me and Lexa, and then fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. All right, making our way there now. Excited? Yeah. Let's do this. Well, got what I wanted. I got the, the swarm poncho, so now I got something for the rain and another My Chemical Romance jacket. And everyone's lame and insufferable here, so... Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's she's not having a good time. Uh, or at least with the people. With the people. I'm, you know, for the concert, I'm excited, but look at... Everyone's a moron here, and a try-hard, and a wannabe, and they're all really annoying, and they look like Halloween clowns, so... I'm just glad to be part of it. I'm, I'm really excited. Okay, props to the Scotiabank Arena. They actually saw that uh, she needed some assistance and we got some accessible tickets anyway, but they actually got her a chair and they're gonna help us through. So that's that's awesome. So I'm excited. Yeah, but now you made the crowd mad at me. So you know what? Go, go through a bad leg and then you can get in. It, too. Exactly. So, go through her pain. Through. No. And then get it. But yeah, almost here. Not bad, eh? No, this is a very nice spot. And I know I keep saying it, but the staff at Scotiabank Arena have been absolutely phenomenal. They've went above and beyond. They're awesome. They're Our awesome. Seats are awesome. Like, uh, it, yeah, we got some some fantastic and seats. Like, very. Move them and get more leg room. It's very nice. accommodating for her. Oh, yeah. So it's it's fantastic. And they gave us a wheelchair escort. They've been very very supportive. And they so. are playing punk music here. Some of my favorite bands are playing as I wear my Sex Pistols shirt.
just on stage. What do you think? I've never heard her music, but uh, oh, she's very talented. Very. Awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna check her out now. Next up is uh, Water Parks. Parks. Or slide. I think it's Water Parks because I I thought slides. <laughs>
you guys at the barricade comfortable? Do we need to back up at all? Are you good? You seem good, right? You're not backing up a little? Okay, count for everybody back up a little. One, two, three. Psh, psh. Yeah, back up. Thank you.
Good, good, good. If you're feeling hot, by the way, make sure you get the fuck out because you don't want to pass out. But if something does pass out and fall down, please pick them up. Thanks so much. somebody that works on the Umbrella Academy show, which is made here in Toronto. Which is pretty fucking cool, and I met a lot of awesome Canadians. 
out on that. And I believe Enda is here tonight with their partner. I want to give a shout out to them. Thank you for coming. And I believe Enda's brother too? I don't know. Sometimes we couldn't tell who fucking liked that record, so. I do! We could. Kind of. Now, there was, you know, a lot of kids, like, one time we went to Poland in Danger Days, and obviously, as everybody knows, that was kind of a, a dark time, right? No? Um, but we showed up to this show in Poland, and all the kids had held up these nah, nah signs in different colors. It was beautiful, and, um, it's really wonderful. And that's something like we always remember. Anyway, we're not going to play Nana right now. Even though um, we have been known to play it twice. But um, this song is called The Kids From Yesterday. Thank you.
No, hey, no, 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 come back, come back. So that was my Chemical Romance live. What do you, what do you think? <laughs> She's giggling off camera. She's. It was very surreal. In all seriousness, it was very surreal, and they're very talented, and they sing incredibly, incredible, and they sing incredibly live. And like they perform incredibly, and you know, it's just wow. And the the crowd was was amazing. Like it, it was amazing how into it they were. And um, I hate the crowd. She hates the crowd, but whatever. Um, I I <laughs> but whatever. But I I love it. So I this is an experience that will change my life forever. And I'm so happy that I did this, and I did it with my best friend in the whole world. So. To answer the question, is My Chemical Romance the greatest band of geeks on this planet? And I'm going to go one step further. Not only are they the greatest band of geeks, they're the greatest band. And they mean the absolute world to me. And thank you, Gerard, Mikey, Ray, Frank, everyone, for making me not afraid to keep on living. I'm Sean Reimer, I don't rhyme. And here, uncut, is My Chemical Romance performing Welcome to the Black Parade in Toronto. Take care.
Louisiana.